Monday evening, about 6.30. We just got done looking at some walnut timber up here at a little town called Sibley, Missouri. I'm actually, I'm, I'm wanting to go down here. We're just right off the Missouri River up here, just right off the river. And I actually come into the town of Sibley because I want to go down here and look at the river real quick. I always like to get up here and look at the river whenever I get a chance to. Uh, I've never really been in this town before. I've actually looked at some timber around here before, and I've cut some jobs not far from here. But I've never been in, been down to the river right here. It looks like we've got a power plant over here to the uh, to the right. See an old iron bridge up ahead. I think we might even get out and do some walking. Just kind of look at the sights and take it all in. Oh, I guess we can cross this iron bridge. Maybe. One lane bridge. 25 tons. Oh yeah, we're golden. We're golden. Oh, it's just a railroad bridge. Yeah, a lot of tracks. Oh my gosh. Four, four tracks. It's like two mains and two sidings. Two sidings. You got railroad buddies. You start to know railroad lingo. Oh no. We don't want to actually go see the fort. He's behind us. Yeah, I'm a typical tourist. Let's flip it around here. I want you guys see what I'm seeing. Okay, so we're coming up on the river access now, I think. It's a pretty neat little town. You can tell it's probably an older town. Small streets, some older houses. Get up here and see what all this is about. I like sightseeing. That's part of the one thing about the job I like. Gosh darn. Can't go that way. Might get down here someplace we're not supposed to go. I to take the shades off there so we can see. I'm about two and a half hours from home, so it's already gonna be late when I get home, so why not make it a little later? The girls will be mad at me when I'm not home on time, tipsy and tricksy. Okay, getting down here in the river bottoms. Close the bluff here. We're just driving around. Maybe I should have went the other way. The guy behind me went the other way. I like cutting timber up here along the river. On these bluffs, there's a oh my gosh, rough old road. Uh, this timber that grows up here is usually really good quality timber. I've made skitter roads better than this road here we're driving down. I know that. I don't care if the people who do take care of this road see the video in that comment. It's the truth. My gosh. But I do like cutting timber up here. Of course, what you're looking at through the camera here is a bunch of scrub. I can see the river right out here. Of course, I can see it up here in front of us, too. So, oh my god, if I don't lose the rear end of this truck by the time we get here, I'm here to tell you for a paved road, this is terrible. Someone needs to get fired. Oh, wow. Hell, if you pull the boat down through here, it'd jump off the trailer before you got it in the water. I mean, that's terrible. Parking lot's in good shape. We'll park up here in a minute and hop out. The old river's pretty big up here. see here on the GPS. I mean, we're right here. Get out here and have a look around. Man, I love to go fishing too. I love catfishing. I bet the catfishing's really good up here. The water's pretty swift. Got one, one boat up here fishing. Big old coal burning power plant right here on the riverbanks. Uh, pretty neat stuff man I love I love getting to be on the river love getting to work around the river on the rivers back home there comes a boat right here down the river I bet the fishing's really good up here I always I used to do a lot of trapping I've always always thought it'd be cool to trap the Missouri River I always thought that'd be pretty neat I don't know if that's a railroad bridge up there across the river 
judging by the looks of it, I'm guessing it is. Pretty neat stuff, man. Love getting to see places like this. This is part of what makes logging fun. Almost looks like a free-floating jug out there, jug line. Looks like they're coming into dock, maybe. I'd like to lean out a little further, but I'd be the guy that'd fall in the water here. Big river. She's coming into port here. We'll get out of his way before he thinks I'm just some dumb tourist. I'd like to ask him if they catch anything. Might do that real quick. Might do that, but yeah, this is the part of the job I really like, guys. Getting to see all these new places, different areas. It just that's what makes logging and looking at timber like I do so fun. Just places I wouldn't normally get to see or anything like that. Pretty exciting stuff. We're back off the river now. I guess uh, these are the train tracks and the little one-lane bridge here. I guess uh, back over there across the other side of the track, that's what they do call Fort Osage going off my map here. And if I'm correct, which there's a good chance I might not be, that uh, actually was an old fort there right on the Missouri River, you know, back in the probably early 1800s to mid-1800s back when there was a lot more forts and outposts. I'd say it was probably an uh, outpost, you know, there for fur trading and trapping, all that stuff on the back when the Missouri River and all this country through here was still pretty wild. Of course, this was uh, all up along the Osage River, and even back where I'm at along the, excuse me, along the Missouri River, and back where I'm at along the Sac and Osage River, uh, they they had the Osage Indians. Um, I've I've done a little bit of reading up on that. I, I hear they're actually a fairly good sized tribe of Indians. A lot of them back then you know they they did stand a six foot tall or a little bigger to where a lot of the europeans the spaniards and english and so on and so forth whatnot the all those type of people they they weren't very big so they probably thought they were in the land of giants but like i said pretty pretty neat little place up here oh hell we got a turkey and some chickens out in the yard soybean crop soybeans look pretty good here too growing right here in town this is farm country up here though this is a lot of row crop farm country up here uh, you know back where we're at it's mainly cattle country so it's a uh, pretty good dirt pretty good soil up here black soil just that dirt's black as coal up here where back home we got a lot of clay and red dirt they've uh, they've got a lot of that glacial till up here so we're just kind of out touring the city now you know checking the place out that river I'd, I'd like to hung around that river access a little longer but yeah I didn't want to those guys were coming in to pull their boat up or something I didn't want to be that crazy out of towner there you know taking pictures being a tourist so we're really not too far from Kansas City it's just straight west of us here This is a lot, I mean, honestly, this is a this is a lot of fun to me, getting to drive around, see all these little towns, especially when they're on the river. I love to explore. Love to get to see new areas. Love to get to work in new areas. So we're going to see how close we can get to this power plant now, which doesn't look like we're going to get real close. We're going to drive on up here, but I'd say this is the end of the road for us, judging by the GPS. It might... Uh, I hope we can even go anywhere. Yeah, there's a street. I think it's a street. <laughs> we get lost and turned around up here in this little town. Oh, we've got a pedestrian. Giggity. Unfriendly old broad. Well, guys, that is probably it for this video i know you probably don't want to see my misadventures touring small towns in rural missouri but that's what this video is basically all about tonight and seeing if i can get out of this small town and back to civilization i'm glad i've got gps on this truck i know that but guys uh, we'll probably start this job up here in uh, probably about a week or 10 days weather permitting 
because I've got one more job I'm kind of waiting to hear back on up here close in the area. And I want to, I've already got a couple others lined up close. It'll work out really good getting this one too. So we want to, we want to make sure everything's in line before we get moved up here and get to cut. Guys, thanks a lot for following along as always. A lot of fun having you with me. Be sure to check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Turner Logging LLC. Check out Logger Threads. You guys that are ordering shirts, apparel, the tank tops, the new uh, beanies that are coming out. Man, I can't thank you guys enough for putting faith in our clothing line, ordering that stuff. Uh, I know the guys that you've ordered it. I've heard good reviews on you from. You guys really like it. Everybody overseas that's ordering it, thank you so much. It is high-quality American-made clothing. No joke about it. Guys, thank you so much for putting faith in ordering that Logger Threads apparel. Guys, we're going to get off here. We're going to make that two-and-a-half-hour drive back to good old Stockton, Missouri. So, until tomorrow, because we will film something tomorrow. So, until tomorrow, guys, thanks a lot. We'll see you later.